Good day everyone! Molucicidal activity of Madre de Cacao or Gliricidia sapium extract against golden apple snail or Pamasaya canaliculata. Our study analyzed and explored the molucicidal activity of young leaves of Madre de Cacao extract against golden apple snail or Pamasaya canaliculata. And here is our overview. According to Dimas 2021, Rice is a major source of income for millions of Filipino farmers. Hence, it is the single most important agricultural crops in the Philippines. Also, as a major staple, rice accounts for 35% of average calorie intake of the population and as much as 60-65% to of the households in the lowest income quartile. quartile. Farmers of about 11.5 million and its family members rely on rice production for income and jobs. Rice contributes 13% to the Consumer Price Index or CPI, 16% to Agriculture's Gross Value Added or GVA, and 3.5% to the country gro Country's Gross Domestic Product or GDP. And that is according to the study of Sebastian 2020. Apple snails are big freshwater mollusks belonging to the Ampolaridae family. Because of their aggressive eating behavior and rapid growth rate, they can quickly alter the ecological makeup of aquatic ecosystems when introduced to non-native places. They are voracious and opportunistic, preying on a variety of aquatic vegetation and other snail species, causing nutrient dynamics in aquatic habitats to significantly change. So golden apple snails has been one of the main problem of rice farmers for years. Based from our observation, local farmers in, in Pamplona, Camarines, are, are suffering from the massive infestation of this freshwater mollusk that causes a lot of damage to rice crops, reducing the yield of crops greatly. The damages of this to rice plant and to farmers include rice yield losses, additional expenses, chemical side effects, and harmful impacts on native snails. Those are difficulties associated with golden apple snail infestation in rice farming systems. <clears throat> and based on our thorough researching and reading, we found out that Madre de Cacao Extra contains pesticidal, insecticidal, and antimicrobial activity. Because the research of Pamplona et al. 2019 and Sasan et al. 2021 proved that Gliricidia sepium can kill rats, cockroaches, mosquitoes, and other pests. That's why we provided an insights about the effectiveness and potential of Gliricidia sepium as an alternative molluscicide against the golden apple snake. In addition, <clears throat> since Madre Cacao is abundant in Southeast Asia, including Philippines, then we used to study its molluscicidal activity against Pomasaya canaliculata. Next is, our research objectives are the following. Number one is the effectiveness of Madre de Cacao or g sapium extract in terms of molluscicidal activity against golden apple snail or Pomasaya canaliculata. Next is, the most effective concentration of Madre de Cacao or g sapium extract against golden apple snail or P. canaliculata. And lastly is the level of concentration of the Madre de Cacao extract that has the fastest rate of suppressing the golden apple snail or P. canaliculata. And now, I'm going to show you our research methodology. And as, as you can see, this is the rice field where we perform the experimental methodology of our research. This rice paddy is divided into four, uh, into four with the size of 2 by 2 square meter per rice paddy. And to prevent the 50 pieces golden apple snail from escaping, we surrounded the rice paddies with a net. Next is the number two, which is rice plant. After planting four rice paddies, we started collecting and planting rice plants. The rice plants will serve as food for the snails because we want to ensure that the snails will die because of the madre de cacao extract and not from starvation. Next is, after that, is the gathering of dependent variable, which is 200 pieces of golden apple snails. We divided them into four, so each rice paddy had 50 golden apple snails. Number four is the preparation and gathering 
of our independent variable, which is Madre de Cacao or Gliricidia sepium. We wash them first to remove impurities, then we follow the maceration procedure. We let them air dry for a week before putting them in the oven and pulverizing the G-sepium using a blender. And when we pulverize already the G-sepium, we prepared four pieces of one liter bottles, which this ones, uh, this 25%, <clears throat> contains 25% Madre de Cacao concentration or extract of Madre de Cacao with 75% of water. Following by this bottle is uh, the 50% extract of G-sepium with 50% of water. Next is 75% of Madre de Cacao extract with 25% of water. And lastly is 90% extract of Madre de Cacao with a water of 10%. Subsequently, we began spraying four different concentrations into the four rice fields that had golden apple snail. And we then began observing the snails to see if G. sepium had molecicidal activity against them in three days. After that, here is our findings. The result revealed that the Madre de Cacao or G. sepium was noted less effective for golden apple snail or P. canaliculata at 50% extract of young Madre de Cacao and 50% of water, 25% extract of young leaves of Madre de Cacao and 75% of water concentration and young leaves G. sepium was noted as not effective for golden apple snail or P. canaliculata. At 75% percent young leaves extract of mother de cacao and 25 percent water 90 percent young leaves of mother de cacao ex mother de cacao extract or g sepium and 10 percent of water uh, the 90 percent concentration was shown to be the most effective among the four concentrations however the effectiveness against the golden apple sale was only 30.19 percent therefore the table one which had 90 percent concentration is less effective and when compared to other concentrations, which are 25%, 50%, and 75%, 90% concentration had the highest rate and impact on the suppression or uh, on killing golden apple snail. And lastly, the outcome showed that despite being less effective, the 90% concentration of mother de cacao had the highest rate of suppression and in inhibiting golden apple snails. So, based on the table provided, the level of effectiveness of 25% concentration of Madre de Cacao extract has no molecicidal activity against golden apple snails, as well as the 50% concentration. Therefore, they are considered as not effective, whereas the level of effectiveness of 75% con concentration of Madre de Cacao extract had showed a percentage of 23.30% in the suppression of golden apple snails. Same as in the level of effectiveness of 90% concentration, the highest concentration had showed 30.19% in suppressing golden apple snail. But these concent concentrations, which are 75 and 90% concentration, are considered as less effective. Following by this table is... This, it can be observed that most potent concentration of Madre de Cacao extract has been determined. The results indicate that the 25% to 50% concentration range did not show any molecicidal activity against golden apple snails. Hence, they are considered not effective. On the other hand, the 75% concentration showed a percentage of 23.30% in suppression of golden apple snails, while the 90% concentration exhibited a concentration of 30.19% in suppressing golden apple snails. Although both the 75% and 90% concentration are less effective. Lastly, according to the table provided, it can be seen that the concentration of 90% of Madre de Cacao extract with 10% water was the most effective in suppressing the, popula the population of golden apple snails. This concentration exhibited the highest rate of suppression compared to the other concentration, which were 75% Madre de Cacao extract with 25% water, 50% Madre de Cacao extract with 50% water, and 25% 
madali ka kao extract and 75% of water. And in our conclusion, the findings endorsed that the extract of young leaves sa madalari cacao or G. sapium had less molesticidal activity against golden apple snail. It was noted to be less effective. And this can be attributed to the study of Vanessa Yvonne Bailon et al. 2014, that the, F, uh, that the effect of madalari cacao or G. sapium was found to have a less effective and not effective against golden apple snail or P. canaliculata. Also, the results confirmed that 90% of madari cacao extract was less effective against the golden apple snail in terms of molesticidal activity. As a result, when compared to other concentration of madari cacao, it was the most effective against the golden apple snails. And lastly, is due to the fact that after three days' observation, the 90% concentration of madari cacao had the fastest rate in suppressing golden apple snail among the concentration because it had a 30.19% effectiveness against golden apple snail. So that's all. Here are our ref references. And thank you. Best regard.